I was only there for two days. One of these scenes actually involved being in the press box and looking down onto the field. We were actually in a studio looking at green screen. We had the first assistant director walking around with a little laser pointer saying Robinson's entering the field now and going to home plate, so our, our, we're all looking at the same spot. But we saw nothing except green. The second day was a press writers conference, white tie event. We actually had a minstrel show with a white man, one of the sports writers, in total blackface. That was the scene in which the director gave me a rare opportunity. He said, uh, say something in here. At the time, I was rehearsing Henry Higgins, and all that went through my head was Bernard Shaw. I just said, it's not exactly George Bernard Shaw, is it? And I'm told that's, that's in the final product. I had a great uh, surprise last week when my agent called me and told me that a, a Michael Cook from Los Angeles had been trying to get in touch with me, that he was the son of Bob Cook. The way that he discovered me and knew that his father was in this movie is I have a line in the trailer. Mark my words and circle this date. Negroes are going to run the white man straight out of baseball. He heard this and recognized it as something that his father had written and had actually become quite famous for. It turns out that Michael Cook is quite a uh, well-credited actor himself. The most awkward thing about that is that he looks so much like his father. I'm thinking, he should have been playing this role. But uh, it's all about location. I'm a Southeastern actor, and this was shot in the Southeast, so I had the advantage. Maybe tomorrow we'll all wear 42. That way they won't tell us apart. One character that I was so happy to see in this is a fellow named Lucas Black. Most people, I think, probably remember him from Sling Blade. I had worked with him once on a TV series when he was still, I, I guess he was maybe nine or 10 years old. Your enemy will be out in force, and you cannot meet him on his own low ground. I didn't meet Harrison Ford, but I did meet Chad Bozeman, who plays Jackie Robinson. We had no scenes together, but I ran into him in the makeup trailer, and the poor fellow just looked thoroughly exhausted. Turns out he had just finished three weeks of shooting all of his scenes on the field. Play after play after play, take after take after take. He was so exhausted, he was so ready to get home and be done with the film, which I think he was able to do a couple of days later.